Okay, so this is my video for my portfolio. Um, first, it started off with learning how to do clothing animation, uh, mostly using the engine to simulate the physics for different types of cloth. Um, I've set up uh, quite a few different um, examples here, um, but we'll start off with uh, the one I started with, which was just mostly using bones for the animation. So if we go into play, you'll start simulating. Um, and these uh, four here are the ones that are just using a two bone setup, not using any of the uh, software or programs. Um, and as you can see, it's it's uh, they do fall to gravity. Um, there is a bit of stretching problems, as you can see. Uh, but if I go into selective viewport, I can control the person. Um, one of the problems with this is that since you're simulated physics, it will collide with things, um, and you might have seen something fly away. Uh, this little archway here is the first test to see if you can actually kind of uh, encapsulate pieces of cloth. And you'll notice a tiny gap here, and that's where the piece of cloth would be, and it would droop over this entryway. Um, sadly, that has a bit of a problem there, so I've made these other archways that actually have the cloth as a piece of the mesh. I'll show you the 3ds file in a minute. Uh, this one, as you can see, it only goes down about halfway and you can collide with it. You can move the whole thing and the cloth reacts not in a very good way. Um, over here I've set up something else. I've changed the uh, model a bit, changed some of the skinning and it now uh, goes in front of the archway and these little boxes would be hid but i'm just showing them just to show how it works uh the cloth goes down and um, they'll stop at these little i would say handles and if you're playing the game you just walk through and the cloth will move so you can see me running into the cloth and it moves um i've made a bigger one over here but depending on the size and how you make these they uh tend to stretch and move weirdly with uh, the physics engine so you can still walk through it and the cloth will move out your way. Uh, it deforms quite a lot as you can see, but most of the time it um, moves out your way in a very smooth fashion. Um, so you can do this as sort of like a, uh, a sort of doorway of what I've done here where a cloth is over a, a uh, archway and you just need to move through it. Um, so I'll come out of the engine and I'll go to the file. So here, um, We've got the cloth, uh, which is named cloth. It's just got a normal skin. Um, it's all done for one bone, which is here. And then I have the stand, which is also to another bone. And uh, you just basically export these out. With... So that's uh, the way you'd normally um, go about doing it. If you go onto one of these, you can see I've got simulate physics on them. Uh, so you can move into them and they'll react to you. This is one of the pieces of cloth, and as you can see, it's kind of stretched out. Um, that would normally droop over, but it's not working. Next, I'll move on to a program. Uh, this is Apex Clothing, uh, using physics from 3DS. So again, I'll go to play, and we'll work our way from the back to the front. So I've got a wind um, actor in the scene, so the wind is affecting the pieces of cloth. This one here, um, it's just showing uh, this um, mesh I've got here, over here, but with apex clothing. So you can see that the wind is moving all the vertexes and kind of like a wave motion. Uh, you'll do this depending on the direction of the wind, or the wind is going the same direction. So it's going this way. Um, here's another one I set up uh, using one of the other doorways as an example. Uh, but this one has simulated physics on it. So as well as the wind, you can move into it and it will move around. But um, this is where the two elements are separated. So it doesn't really have enough attachment to, to stay on the actual stands and um, be simulated. Um, it still has the uh, detail for cloth, but it does break when you move into it. Uh, here... It doesn't have the apex clothing, 
um, <clears throat> set to as high. Uh, it has a bit more of an attachment to the stand itself, but again, it still messes up. This one here is using this example, and it's where the two objects are actually the same um, in the same mesh. Uh, but when you bring over the Apex clothing um, data, it does seem to break them apart, even if they are the same object. Now, if we uh, go over to this one, uh, this is where it's simulating physics again. Uh, I've took the example over the hair and made them the same object, but as well as putting a uh, phys um, simulated physics on it, so when you move into it, it breaks it. Um, it still attaches to the stand a lot better than the one over there, though it does still break apart. So using Apex clothing on an object and having it move around is a very tricky thing to do. I still haven't uh, figured out the best way to do it yet. Um, but aside from interacting with the character you're playing as, uh, they, the clothing also can react with the environment. Um, this cloth has a rather high um, value on it, so it's kind of going through this box right here, but you can also see that it's flowing around the box. As you can see, the uh, piece of cloth is moving upwards as it tries to go around the box. And the clothing will still uh, react to the wind, as you can see, it's uh, have that ripple effect. Uh, but some of it's raised up because of the box. Here I've got the um, the cloth just on its own. Um, there's no stand or anything. Um, so this just shows you can just have the cloth somewhere. You can put it on the wall, straight all the way down, just have cloth all around the walls. And then over here, which could be the uh, best example, is a uh, tablecloth. Um, it's basically just cloths like these, except the cloth is a separate object, and I basically attach it to this uh, box, and the cloth will move around it, similar to the way that this one is done. Uh, but this one's uh, actually made within 3ds, planted into Unreal Engine, and then the wind effects will affect it. Um, so if I can get a better angle, uh, you can see that the cloth is being moved by the wind, but it is also draped around this little box. So it has a nice uh, smooth effect, as if you'd have a indoor uh, building with a door open or a window open where the wind's coming in. Uh, so I'll come out of Unreal and go back to 3ds. So here I've got the uh, tablecloth, uh, would be the best way th to show it off. And this is the Apex clothing modifier. Um, you can see these lines, that's the value I've put on it for the max distance they'll move up to. <clears throat> and the table. Uh, the table has many vertices on the top. This is to help the cloth uh, stick to it, as when you have uh, two or four vertices on top, it doesn't like to um, attach very well. It seems to move through it. And if we move into the physics toolbar, we can start simulation, uh, and then the cloth will move itself around the table. So you see it's droping around it. Some play model setup. So go back into the engine, and you can see that Apex clothing can also be used for um, character models. So this one just has a simple cape. This has a high value set on it, so his cape is flowing in the wind. It's going through the body though, because it's a very high setting. You have to set it to a lower value so it doesn't um, collide with the character too much. And if you have a model you've rigged up yourself, you can set all of the different limbs and legs to collide with the cloth, just like the table does. Uh, sadly, this is just the UE4 van, so I can't um, edit it that much. Um, but you can see, you can it, the cloth moves dynamically with the wind, and then you just set it with different uh, values, and it'll move at different speeds. 